there's something in Moodle that is incredibly useful for you, which is that you can add CSS all over the place if you need to, but please be careful with it because you can do some damage. What we're going to look at is how to add icons to your content that can be replaced quite quickly and easily just using CSS, but by setting it as a global CSS property to the Moodle platform. So a site administrator would have to set this up for you, but I'll show you how it works, what it does, and then you can pass it on to them and show them how to do it and what they need to do. Let's have a look at an example first. Let's jump into a course, go into my courses, I'll go into my practice course, and in my practice course in the welcome page, we're just going to go in here and have a look. You'll see I've got this here. If you don't have all the files, let me know and I'll provide a custom link for you to download the files. That has an icon beside it and it's also in a box and sort of has everything all sort of set up ready. What if you wanted to add this particular icon and outside content really quickly and easily to your content and have it consistent everywhere without it being overly complicated? Well, let's look at what it looks like now. Let's go into our settings for the page. We'll have a look at the code because we need to get into the code a bit to do this. And if we have a look down here, you'll see the code is this part here. What we're looking at is a paragraph with a class called alert alert info. The text is bold. And then we have an icon attached to that, which is an FA FA arrow circle right FA two two times middle assign as an icon, then a space and then the actual text in there. And we don't really need that space on the back end of that either. So that's the code that creates it. But what we want to do is we want to create that so that somebody putting this in will not have to do anywhere near that effort. They can just put in here, maybe we could call this custom alert arrow. So what we'd like them to be able to do is just put that in to their paragraph class equals custom alert arrow and produce exactly the same as what all of this extra code produced up here. So there's a way that we can actually go about doing that. Let's have a look. We're going to, I'll save that because we're going to use that custom alert arrow. And because we're in admin, we need to do this in the admin area to set this up. I'll show you how we're going to work it out first of what we have to do. So I'll save and display. So we've got this one here, and then we've got our custom one below. So I'm going to right click and inspect, and we're going to basically put it together here, and then we're going to move it over into the admin area. Let's go to our alert info, and our alert info has all of this. It has position, padding, margin, border, border radius, all of that information just there. So I'm going to grab all of that because we're going to use it. We're going to jump down to our custom alert arrow just here, and we're going to apply that part of it. So you can see now that the spacing's already added all of that around it. Let's go back to our other alert and we have our background color, border color and color. We're going to grab all of that, go back to this one. We're going to add that in as well because all of that is part of the same thing. So you can see how it's starting to take shape. And we're also looking at font weight and we wanted bold. So it's looking even more consistent. So the only thing missing is now is the icon that goes in there. We have to do the icon separately, but let's grab this part here. All of this, because we're going to drop that into our admin area where our CSS goes for this theme, because that will apply it across the board to everything. So give me one second and I'll just grab us, take us to our admin area. I'm now in the site administration. And if I go to appearance down to boost, which is the theme that we're using, advanced you can see we have our css or scss and css now i'm going to paste that code in there uh, that css or the css properties but i just need to go back and find the class that we called it was custom alert arrow i'm going to drop custom alert arrow in here and go down to the bottom put on the bracket on the end so now it looks like this. We've got dot custom alert arrow just there. There it is. And that CSS will now get applied when we use that particular class. So let's just save that. And if we go back here now and refresh our page, we'll get rid of all of that out the way, refresh our page. You can now see that without changing the CSS, but without us manually changing it, it's now put everything there except for that icon. So we need to know a bit about that icon. So let's go inspect and find out what that font awesome icon is. So there it is there. 
the icon looks like that. If we go to the before properties, which is this one here, it's got FA circle, FA to see FA circle right before is the bit that we want. So we want this part here that we're going to apply. So let's grab that, jump back to our admin, go into advanced, we're going to scroll right down the bottom, paste that one in, except we're going to use custom alert arrow as our class instead. Custom alert arrow before content and save that. Jump back to our page and I'll explain what that actually did and what it means in just a second, but let's reload. You can see there that we've actually got this other odd shape in there, which is okay, but you can see the icon has appeared. So if we inspect now, and this time we go to the before part, where it says before, and you can see there's our bit of content in there, custom alert arrow, has put an icon in, wrong icon, and we need some spacing in there as well. So we're going to add that bit of spacing. So the spacing that we'd like, we can just go padding, right, call it 10px if you like, or we can change it back to maybe six, might be better. So we need to add that padding right into this area as well, or into the custom alert arrow before, just so that it moves it across. And then we're gonna go and find out what the code is for that arrow. So let's just put this into our admin, advanced settings, scroll down, apply this here just to get our spacing, save it and reload. Double check that that worked, good. So all that's left now, oops, no, that didn't work. It probably hasn't reloaded yet. There we go, now it's reloaded. So the next stage is to put that arrow in. So what I've done is gone to Font Awesome for you to have a look at the Font Awesome icon. And you'll see a couple of things. One of them is that this is the Font Awesome class called FA-Solid FA Circle Arrow, right? This code over here, which is the Unicode reference F0A9, is a code that we need to put into our page, into our CSS in the, what's called a pseudocode, which is that after part. So we need to go to the pseudocode elements, just have a look. And the information that we need is font family, font awesome five, free font weight, where we can change the weight to whatever we like. Uh, but it's F007 is the important number that we need in there. So we need all of that to tell CSS that we're going to use this particular font family and we're going to use the content F007 with that slash in front of it as well. So we need to put that in. So let's go into our code back in here, go down to our code just here in the before after business and paste in there font family, font awesome free. We can leave the font weight as that, that's fine. The content is FOA9, double check that. FOA9, which is good. That's excellent, so we'll save that. Go back to our page and reload again. Scroll down and now we have our arrow in there as well. Excellent, so if I just inspect that, go to the before. So we need to go into the paragraph and look at the before part. And you'll notice there's one thing that's different between the two is the size. So we're just going to go to font size and we'll choose large or extra large maybe. Extra large looks pretty good. So I'll choose extra large. So I'll grab that. Go back to our HTML, our CSS actually. Scroll down and we're just going to add in there font size extra large. Save that. Refresh that. And if it's cached correctly, saved and cached correctly, we should now get that particular class in there. So they're all the steps that you need. I hope I didn't do it too quick for you. If you need to rewind, go back and play it over and over as much as you like to work it out. But I'm just going to show you now the minimum requirements to put that in now in any page. If we go into our code, back into here, is just paragraph class equals custom alert arrow. And we can go into any course. So for example, I choose a different course in Moodle. Let's do our Moodle training intermediate day one. Go into introduction. In here we'll do, that's fine. Go into settings. Go into our code just here. Go right to the bottom and I'll just put it in the bottom. But let's say I wanted to put some text in there 
and we'll put in, it uh, doesn't matter what the text is, some random text. If we put P class equals custom alert arrow, that custom alert arrow matches our custom alert arrow class over here, which has everything in it. And then the custom alert arrow before, colon before, which is what puts the icon in. Got all of that. If we put that into our page here with some text in it and save, even though it's a different course, when we scroll down, you'll see that we now have the text in there with the arrow on the left, which is exactly what we wanted. Hope that's helped you out. Uh, like and subscribe. Make sure you go and check out the courses as well, especially on Moodle and creating content for Moodle. I hope it's been useful. I'll talk to you soon.